Thank you. Dear guests and uh, Mr. Uh, Olo Ragnar and the distinguished guests, I will present Bakkerfrost and salmon farming from the Faroe Islands and also slightly into our sustainability operations. Uh, Bakkerfrost has an extended value chain compared with salmon farming globally, which I will look briefly into. As you know, uh, being located in the North Atlantic, it's quite a remote place. And uh, our focus has been how can we change being remote, being uh, at a difficult place, into being at the right place with a uh, and competitive advantage, producing high quality products with a premium to our customers. In Faroe Islands, uh, fishing and salmon farming has become more and more important and is today a very important part of our economy and our way of living. So it's crucial for us to make this sustainably so that we can also continue in the future. Farming salmon is uh, actually uh, a good place to be. Uh, you know that today when we eat our food, we go into our supermarket to buy, and what we find there is normally not products that are just caught wild out somewhere, somebody has been out shooting. It is all farmed, more or less. And uh, talking about uh, sustainable products, salmon is one of the most sustainable ways to raise uh, food for the future. Uh, when we talk about uh, eatable meat for each 100 kilo of feet, we can decide whether we are going to produce a beef, uh, a pork, poultry, or salmon from a sustainability view of point, how we can create more food in the future. Salmon is absolutely one of the best choices we can make. And this is also very relevant for the future where we see a growing uh, number of people in the world uh, and uh, the key will be how can we produce more food in the future. And, uh, and that's why uh, the UN have uh, several times uh, f uh, during e different programs supporting uh, fish farming and salmon farming as one of the way to produce more food in the future. We know that wild caught, caught fish is coming down the ratio between farmed, which is the red here, and the wild caught fish is changing so that there will be more farmed fish in the future. So that's where we are doing our operations here in the Faroe Islands. In Bakkerfrost, we, uh, we have a high capacity throughout the value chain. I will not go through all, through, through all this, but the value chain is quite important for us. And we have our activities spread around the islands. And that's also one of the beauties with farming, that we create values in the outskirts of the communities where very often there are fewer uh, working uh, options for people. So to create values in these local communities are, is very important. The value chain from Bakkerfrost starts with fish meal and oil production, and then the feed that we produce here locally in the Faroe Islands. And this creates us a unique possibility to, to produce a salmon with, with its own taste. We can say that we are producing a salmon with the taste of the Faroe Islands. Mm -hmm. Raw materials uh, and world-class quality and, and a taste that no, nobody else can match. And then we have the hatcheries, the farming, the farms, well boats, harvesting sites, uh, processing units, packaging and sale and marketing. And with a 50 uh, years anniversary this year, uh, we have an extend, uh, extended uh, experience of, uh, of this uh, operation. It all starts with the catch of the fish and uh, to produce fish meal and oil, feed, and then the farms. And during this uh, process, we create a lot of jobs. Just in the fishing uh, process, it's around 100 jobs. In the f fish meal and oil, 45 jobs. Uh, feed, 45 jobs, hatcheries, farms, and processing. And then if you look at the values, uh, the same value chain, create, we start with one catch of, let's say, Hoaberg or some of the vessels. They land 3,000 tons of blue whiting with a value on 5 million kroner. These 3,000 tons of blue whiting, through our value chain, we convert this value into 2,100 tons of finished products 
with a value on 155 million kroner. And it's even quite sustainable because when you talk about blue whiting, the edible part of it will be 30%. And with 3,000 tons, that's only 1,000 tons. With 2,100 tons of finished products of salmon, we are a net producer of high quality proteins for the world. The value chain uh, is, uh, is quite advanced and uh, with everything locally here in the Faroe Islands, we create local values, which is also a big part of what we need to do in the Arctic. We need to create local values and create jobs and values for everyone. And then people will stay here and uh, that's the best way to grow the population. For Bacafrost, we have had a good development during the last uh, seven years. The revenue have increased steadily, around five times. And if you look at the bottom line, it has also increased steadily around six times. So we have been improving our operations. Then briefly into the uh, transport and infrastructure, which is of course crucial because we work on the global market. And the global market is where we create the values and that's where we make the difference between our products and our competitors. We have a good uh, start uh, for our operations with, uh, with a local uh, environment, which is good for salmon. This is the natural place to grow salmon. We have uh, uh, stable temperatures down to six degrees in the winter and up to around 10 to 11 degrees in the summer, which is quite uh, optimal for, for the salmon. And then we can reuse re the raw materials which are naturally here in our waters and create a salmon with high quality, high on omega-3. As Gylfi mentioned, uh, there has been a big change in the export of the Faroe Islands. And if you just look at Bacafrost, we see that in 2002, our export was mainly to the EU market. We uh, have changed this, so in 2007, we see that we have increased our export to other markets. And in 2017, we see that other markets are far more important than before. And this is still a priority for us to have a global market of our products, and that's where we are selling our fish today. We are getting less and less dependent on, on the European market. The product development is also a key for us to produce more products ready to eat, and this is the way uh, 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 consumers today go. They want to have products ready to eat uh, as easy as possible, high quality, good transparency and, uh, and uh, traceability. This year, for the first time ever, Bacafrost has uh, published our healthy living plan. I have uh, a few hard copies with me here uh, for you who are interested to see. So they are available there, both in Faroese language and in English language, and they are also available on our webpage. Bacafrost uh, are uh, now on our way to, to comply with uh, the UN goals. This year we comply with part of them. Next year our goal is to comply with the GRI, GRI standard of reporting, which will be on our annual report next year. And uh, for this year, we have built the report with five pillars, healthy business, healthy people, healthy salmon, healthy environment, and healthy communities. And for each of those, we have given commitments how we are going to grow for the future. So this is one of the ways where we are reporting and given uh, our commitments for everyone. Thank you very much.